Hi, I'm Grant Britton and welcome to Behind the Lens. Jamie called me and said, hey, we're gonna shoot this thing, it's pretty gnarly, and do you wanna come down and film it? And I go, no, and no, I said yes. Went down to Point Loma High, and he showed me this thing, and I was like, yeah, right, like that. It wasn't called a leap of faith at the time. It was one of those things where you're thinking, I wish we had paramedics here. Seriously, like worried that he was gonna break himself off. It's a big drop, and at the time, it was probably the biggest drop. So he rolled up to it multiple times and then just went for it and I shot a sequence of it. Either he makes it or it's the end. The last shots that I have on the sequence is him going right through his board and then, you know, falling. By this time I knew that everything you shoot is pretty much history. I knew that was the biggest jump anybody had ever done. Not a lot of people knew I shot that photo because it didn't it was an ad and, and it didn't have a photo credit on it. I think I was more bummed about that. It didn't have my name on it, and I was just like, damn, my name's not on it. When I tell people that I've shot it, they go, really, you shot that? The other shot I like of him is the, the media overkill. At the time, uh, skating was just booming, and everyone, everybody wanted a piece of skating. People that didn't know anything about skating, you know, X Games, you know, Mountain Dew, everybody wanted a piece of skateboarding. Why don't we just get a bunch of photographers? Everybody we know that has a camera, everybody who doesn't even shoot photos, let's get them there and we'll shoot photos. I didn't want lights in the picture, I just wanted their lights, so I just set off their flashes. When I shot the photo, then their flashes went off, and I think the other flashes in the photo are done in Photoshop. But my favorite thing about that photo is the dog. The dog makes the photo, because the dog is actually watching Jamie skate, which is kind of cool. You know, it was supposed to be funny, and I think it came off pretty good. We went out to Arizona, we rented a car, and back in those days, we rented like $15 a day ugly duckling cars, you know, that barely ran. Jim Gray and Gator, and I think Billy Ruff, and everybody laughed because I brought a ladder to the top of the car. We went out to Arizona with a ladder on the top of our car because I knew there was a chance we were gonna go to the prison pipes. We were going out for a contest or a demo or something, and then afterwards we were gonna drive out to Florence, Arizona, and there's a prison nearby, and hence the name Prison Pipes. And they were building an aqueduct out there and putting in these giant pipes. They were building them on the spot. They built these giant metal molds. And these are like the 22-foot pipes. I mean, they're massive, and just went back and shot a few photos and that's when I was shooting with one flash. Now I would light it different. I'd put flashes back inside, you know, to backlight them and really show, you know, how far back they go. I think I shot a little color, but the black and white just looked so great. And the different tones in there, there was just a really beautiful photo. And I think full pipes are my favorite thing to shoot because they're so f few and far between. There aren't a lot of full pipes out there. And then these were just these amazing creations out there. You know, the Chris Miller photo, the pole cam photo at Upland, a surf photographer, can't even remember the guy's name, that was shooting with a pole cam out in the water. I go, God, I could do that with skateboarding. Uh, we were working on a pro spotlight in, this is 80, 86, 87. I thought a great place to do it, you know, because he had it wired, was Upland's combi pool, the original combi. So I hooked up a, a K1000 Pentax with a fisheye on the end of a uh, monopod, then I put a little swivel head on it. So I shot a roll of color and a roll of black and white, and that was my favorite photo. I just like the way it was cropped. That's the full frame. A lot of the shots didn't come out, but the thing I like about it too is there's a reference of me, the, you know, the shadow, Chris in the air, and me with the pole cam. So that tells the story. Probably one of the photos I'm most well known for is my shot of the four hand plants at Animal Chin. It was in Oceanside and they worked on building this combi ramp. You know, they had a spine and then a ramp on the backside. On the decks, it had little mini ramps to skate. At that time, it was probably the most elaborate ramp that had ever been built. Our office was in Oceanside and, and I don't know why they called me. I guess because I was down here, but we were the only magazine that had an exclusive on that part of it. 
you know, they started out with, you know, doubles and basic tricks and tail taps. I think Tony and Cab tail tapped each other on different sides. And they just tried to get the timing just right. And then they did these four hand plants and where they were fully extended. And, you know, I just got it at the right time. They're all wearing uh, Nike Air Jordans. And except for one, if uh, they all had Air Jordans on, I'd be a rich man. 